Okay. Hi, this is Laura. This is our uh, favorite recipe we've found so far. We really like it. What we do is we drink it in a wine glass because it makes it really special and we really enjoy it. So, And when you're also, when you're done, you want to use for the extra juice a Tupperware container to keep it airtight so that it can store up to 48 hours in the refrigerator to keep the enzymes good so that that's the health part. So you want to drink it within 48 hours. And it's good to fill it up to the top if you can. You get whatever size cup you want. And that way it keeps the air out and it even keeps it even better. Okay, so what we're gonna start with, we're gonna start with the carrots. You're gonna put the small side down. Okay, turn in. Uh, also, the glass container that comes with the Green Star Juicer is gonna go right under here. And you need a pretty big bowl because all the pulp is going to shoot out here, and otherwise you're going to have a huge mess. <laughs> okay, so I turn the machine on. It's a little loud. And the carrots are pretty much the easiest, so we're going to stick them down. And you want them to be pressed down with this. We use the wooden plunger because we find it easier, because it's just easier for us. <laughs> You push it so it's all the way down. You want to look down the chute and uh, see that the carrot is gone. You see you put your other hand in it. It's really easy. It looks hard, but it's not. So look, you've already got that wonderful orange juice coming out. And go for a second carrot. So easy. So delicious. The carrots are so sweet, you will not believe it. And look at that pulp. It's coming out so dry. That means you're getting every single drop of juice. And the pulp is completely dry. Let me show you. There's no, nothing, no wetness at all in there. It's completely dry. Okay. Yeah, you probably want to start with the carrots first because they're pretty much, other than the celery, they're the easiest. And then you get a hang of how it feels. Actually, I think I do it a lot neater than Mark does. He ends up pieces of vegetable and food all over his face. So, so far I've avoided that. healthy. The healthiest. You can't even get juice like this in a store. You have to make it yourself. Oops. A little bit of exercise. Not bad. It's actually good for you. I need a little exercise in my arms. Okay. Uh, Next, I'm going to go with the uh, lemons. Of course, you're going to use the entire lemon, the skin too. So, it's very tart, but lemon has really good vitamin C. Actually, more vitamin C than orange juice. See that? It's already went in. How easy is that? There's some pits here, so I'm going to take the pits out. so that they fit in the chute easily. Otherwise, you're going to have to be cutting in between juicing. Oh, that one just fits. Look at that. Okay. And look at that. It's all in. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start with the spinach first. I'm going to um, ball up the spinach in little balls, you see, and then just like put some extra on top there. You see, and just ram it in. How easy, it's already in there. You can make a bigger ball of spinach. Oh, 
wait for you. Spinach has a lot of iron in it. Um, a lot better than the iron that you'll find in meat because we don't eat meat, but meat, you can easily have too much iron which will harm your body. But when you eat it from, you can eat as much leafy green spinach as you want and you'll never get too much iron because your body will only use what it needs from the veggie. Apples. Apples. This gives it a lovely sweet tart taste. Even though the carrots are sweet, the uh, apples just make it extra sweet. And the red ones make it like a little sweeter, and these Granny Smith green ones, they're a little bit tart, which is a good balance in front of this. I got anything on my face yet. Or well, I think it is. I think Mark puts his face over the hole. When well, I look to make sure that when it's gone, you'll see the metal. I can feel it pretty much. I can feel it on the bottom of the pusher. Very nice. Look at that green coming. Okay, now these are the hardest to do because they're a little firmer, but as you can see, no, they're really not too bad. You just gotta push a little bit. get a little juice come up with the beets. Um, but that's okay. Look at that beautiful purple red color coming out. Just delicious. You will not believe how delicious this juice is. Now you can change up the recipe any way you want. You know, if you decide you want less lemon or less beets, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of other vegetables and fruits, you know, this just happens to be our favorite so far. I'm sure we'll find a lot of other ones. And it's so cheap too, compared to uh, going and buying the juice, which is nowhere near as healthy. Filling up now. This this recipe here pretty much fills up this uh, the glass that comes with it. And also, if you're into baking and stuff, you can use this pulp in the recipe book. It shows how you can use the pulp and um, use it for baking muffins and breads. And put in will be the celery because the celery kind of cleans it out and I'm going to put the um, leaves in first and look how easy it goes through there it kind of cleans it out and it just goes by itself basically 